Welcome to Enlightened. My name is Paul, and we are going to go back in time today to learn how the lighthouse's massive Fresnel lens operated before electricity. Today, an electric bulb illuminates the lens during the night. An electric motor turns the lens, which sends out its flashing signal every 30 seconds. These modern devices were added to the lighthouse in 1936. Before that, the lighthouse keepers had to use older technology to light and rotate the massive Fresnel lens. Lighthouse keepers had two main responsibilities during the night. Keep the light on and keep the lens rotating. If they fail at either of these tasks, sailors at sea might be put in danger. To provide the light for the Fresnel lens to magnify, the keepers used an oil lantern. Originally, U.S. lighthouses used whale oil as a fuel to burn in their lanterns. By the time the St. Augustine Lighthouse was built in 1874, the rising cost and decreasing supply of whale oil forced the Lighthouse Board to find a new, less expensive fuel. After much testing, they settled upon lard oil. The keepers here used this lard oil for several years before the Lighthouse Board made another change, this time to kerosene, which the keepers used until electrification. Remember, it isn't enough just to light the lens. It also has to rotate. The rotating Fresnel lens is what makes the night characteristic flash at night. The mariners out at sea, if they see the wrong night characteristic, might think they were on a different coastline. And if that happens, they might run aground. To turn the lens before electricity, the keepers used a clockwork mechanism. You may have seen something similar in a cuckoo clock or a tower clock, where one or several weights turn years as they fall. The lighthouse used a similar clockwork mechanism. I'm standing here on the lighthouse stairs next to where a clockwork mechanism would have run to turn the Fresnel lens. At the bottom of the tower, there was a 270 pound weight. It was attached with a cable up through the center of the tower, right past where I'm standing now. On each landing, you can actually see a ring where the cable would have run through. The rings are still there. At the top of the tower, this cable was wrapped around a cylinder. The cylinder was cranked by the lighthouse keepers. They would crank it up and wrap this cable around the cylinder. As it was wrapped around the cylinder, the weight would rise from the bottom of the lighthouse to the bottom of the first landing. As the weight then fell, it would pull on the cylinder in the opposite direction, rotating it. This rotation was transferred to gears, which was then transferred to the Fresnel lens, and it would rotate the Fresnel lens that way. Every two hours and 45 minutes, the weight would travel all the way to the bottom of the tower, hit the bottom of the tower, and stop rotating the lens. So the keepers had to be back up at the top of the tower by that time to rewind the clockwork mechanism. Lighthouse keepers' responsibilities kept them up through the night. Not just awake, but up and down the lighthouse throughout the night, taking care of the lighthouse, keeping the light on, and keeping the lens rotating. Next time, we'll learn more about the lives of the keepers and their families. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've been enlightened.